Hey, I'm Jamie, and today we're going to be checking out this bass amp from Laney, the Digbeth DB500H. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know there's actually only one thing that I really care about, and that is, well, what's it sound like? <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started by playing some old school rhythm and blues on a precision style bass. Now, what I'm looking for here is some 1960s vintage mojo, and we're about to find out if the Digbeth actually has any of it. But first, let's check out what this bass sounds like completely dry on its own without any processing from the Digbeth. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and engage the dig beth and we'll just see what it sounds like with a slightly overdriven signal with a tiny boost in the low end cutting out some of those low mids and a nice balanced top with the tilt selection kind of favoring the bass frequencies <laughs> Now it might be subtle, but this is a much more saturated tone, and I definitely think that it hits that vintage vibe pretty well. But before we make any decisions, let's pull in the rest of the track so we can hear not only this bass groove, but also the tone in its proper context. <laughs> Okay, next I want to hear some pop rock music where the bass is going to take more of a back seat and play more of a supportive role rather than a driving or more acrobatic one. And just like last time, let's listen to the bass completely dry and unaffected just to see where we're starting from. <laughs> Not bad at all. So let's take that same passage, we'll run it through the dig beth, and this time we'll hit the FET engine. We'll do a bump in the bass and the treble, scoop out quite a bit of those mids, and this time we'll leave the tilt control dead center. Let's just see what that sounds like. <laughs> I mean, that definitely registers more to my ears as rock music, and I like the aggressiveness that the Digbeth is adding, which is funny even though the attack is the same and it's pretty moderate. But I definitely want this tone to be a bit more in your face. So let's add the Sonic Cake Boom Avenue. I'm gonna use some compression and a tiny amount of overdrive just to thicken it up a little bit. Now let's pull in the rest of the band and see what we get. Last, let's try playing some indie dance rock with a pick. So let's start out by listening to the dry, unaffected tone of this Epiphone Jack Cassidy signature bass. for here is a bit of a thinner sound but but not too much i don't want to lose the body of this instrument so i'm going to drive the signal a bit harder we'll use both of the preamp sections the tube and the fet section that way we can mix the clean 
with the dirty. We'll do a top end lift to help accentuate those pick strikes and also the tilt control, I'll lean towards the treble side. Let's just see what that sounds like. Like it. It's got character, grit, and vibe, all, all the things that I'm looking for. It's checking all the boxes. But before we make a decision, let's pull in the rest of the track. That way we can hear it in context. Anyways, that is what the Laney Digbeth DB500H sounds like. And I just want to say a big thank you to Zounds for actually loaning me this amp. And if you like what you hear, you want to get one for yourself, please just click on those links in the description. Yes, I get a very small commission out of it. So thank you in advance for helping to support the channel. Right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications and stay well. We'll see you next time. Yeah.